body bags were horror lies. Hello everyone and welcome back to Body Bags Channel. I'm your host for Thursday, the Sinister One, and today I'll be doing a review on Planet of the Vampires. Also released as Demon Planet, The Haunted Planet, The Haunted World, The Outlawed Planet, Planet of Blood, Space Mutants, and The Terror in Space. So, I decided to do this film for two reasons. One, uh, it's a Mario Bava film. And second, there's been a lot of sci-fi films coming out this year for 2017. Uh, Life, Arrival, uh, the new Alien film comes out, so... And then there's been some uh, direct-to-DVD films that have been really good, so... This one right here is, is directed by the master himself, Mario Bava. Uh, it's from 1965, so it is color. But you see a lot of a lot of stuff where Ridley Scott probably got his idea from Alien. Also, he got uh, he was inspired by it, the Terror from Outer Space, another sci-fi B movie. But uh, this one in particular, the spaceship, it's very similar to the. The spaceship in uh, Alien, the one they find on that planet, and also seen in Prometheus, and in even the new Alien, you see that that uh, horseshoe-shaped um, ship. And so this one, uh, this one's about these um, travelers in space and these astronauts, and uh, they land on this planet. Um, Things start to go very strange among the the crew members, and you know they suffer some kind of short-term amnesia where where they don't know what they're doing, and they have like this this forgetfulness of um, what they were doing. So strange things happen to the crew members. They get a distressed. Um, call from this planet um, it seems like it's an intelligent life form and and then they start to explore and you know they start to get picked off one by one but uh, you don't know who is uh, doing the, the killing and they suspect it's it's their own crew members who are just they're uh, being controlled by some force and uh, they go through this amnesia stage and they don't know what they're doing, they go crazy. And uh, so that's kind of like, well, that's a possibility. But you don't know exactly what's going, going on. And so the rest of the crew members have to um, figure out why this is happening. So other than that, I think uh, for the time it was really good. Uh, it's a very colorful film, a lot of colors, they, they overuse the fog machine, there's a lot of that, uh, and the planet kind of, is, it's really cool um, just to see that, that set on, on the planet that they're on, I think that was done really well, and the space outfits that they wear are just, you know, just cheesy as you can get, but you know, even in uh, even the Alien film, you know, the spacesuits were kind of like, you know, a little too much, but they give that, they give that feel to the film that they're actually in outer space. So, yeah, I mean, the acting is, is actually, you know, pretty decent, very straightforward, very, very dry, but I think, um... If you like your sci-fi films, your alien films, and you know, since the alien films are coming out this year, you know, now's the time to jump on that wagon and and watch some older 
uh, sci-fi space films from the past. And definitely put this one on the list because you won't be disappointed. Um, this is actually has a Blu-ray release, so you know, pick that one up and uh, throw it on and cook up some popcorn. So that's my review. Uh, stay tuned for everyone else's uh, reviews, and I'll be back next week. Thanks for watching.